Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today I have Smooth Ambler Old Scout American Whiskey, a blend of nine and five year old whiskeys. This one's recently been discontinued. Is it worthwhile going out and grabbing it while you still can? I'll let you know when I know it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, this blended whiskey coming in at 49.5% ABV. The nine year old bourbon is from Indiana and the five year old whiskey from Tennessee. That five year old being uh, matured in a recharred cask. Let's see if this is on the nose. So lots of uh, that heavy, like caramel sweetness coming in with this. Lots of rye spice. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that nine year old bourbon is a very high rye mash bill. Definitely get some spiciness on this. Like a really good, like kind of graham crackery kind of uh, note to it as well. Some floral aspects to it, kind of like lots of stuff going on with this nose. Very like mellow, I'd say. Even at forty nine point five percent ABV, you can stick your nose right in there. Nothing harsh coming out. Uh, very like uh, smooth, approachable uh, nose for sure. Let's go palate. Really easy drinking whiskey. That uh, vanilla sweetness carries over. You get like a marshmallow kind of um, cotton candy sweetness to it on the finish. Very sweet. Uh, the rye spice um, kind of like mellows a little bit from the nose, I'd say. Where you get like a lot of spicy uh, aspect on the nose, I'd say. A little more refined on the palate. In fact, this whole palate is very refined. It's very, um, I guess, like smooth, mellow. Very easy drinking. As far as complexity, I wouldn't say it's like the most complex whiskey um, on palate. Um, I'd say the finish is kind of slightly thin, but this profile of whiskey is perfect for someone maybe like just getting into bourbon, just getting into drinking whiskey because the profile, very approachable, very sippable, um, no rough edges. It's, it's definitely blended very, very well. Uh, and with that in mind, in my opinion, um, I think my brother would be perfect for this bottle because he just likes chilling with the whiskey, pouring it in the tumbler, maybe like a small cube in there. Um, doesn't necessarily love analyzing a whiskey, but this for a beginner I think is like very, very well uh, suited. Um, for me personally, I kind of like those like rougher edges that kind of give you a little more character. This thing may be lacking a bit of character in my opinion, um, but absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, just a simpler profile in a whiskey, um, in my experience. Score-wise for me on this one, it's a solid 80 out of 100. Value, not gonna add or subtract value. This bottle is on loan from the rep who does this brand, uh, Kali, thank you very much for uh, lending the bottles to the channel. Definitely want to try some Old Scout. Uh, I've seen them around uh, in different markets. Never had tried it before, so uh, thank you so much for letting me uh, review this one. Uh, I think they made a 10 year old to be interested in trying that. As I said, this one, uh, the American whiskey, they have discontinued. So I think whatever's on the shelf now, I think might be it. Uh, let's talk pricing for this one. I think around $38 is what I saw it for at Total Wine in the States. Uh, for that price, uh, I think it's definitely worthwhile buying if you're maybe newer to whiskey, you're looking for something with like a smooth profile, something easy, easy to sip. I think this would be great in cocktails as well. Uh, $38. Um, Definitely worth a shot at that price. Here in Ontario, they want a shit ton of money for this. I think $93 for it. I feel bad for reps who have to work uh, with Ontario markets because it's just it's just out of control um, how much they want for some pricing when it's you know almost double the price. Um, but for 38 bucks US, if you're in the US market, have a look. Um, that might be the only ones left on the shelf. So there you have it, let me know what you think. Uh, Old Scout, um, let me know if you tried the 10 year old or any other of their expressions. Um, source product, but I think it's, it's a pretty good blending job they've done with this one. Uh, leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and until next time guys, cheers.